So, how to add 73 HP to two, three U racks uh, by Arturia, these three U racks. Um, I'll get to why I did this in a moment, um, but basically for compact size and also cost, you can pick up these three U racks used pretty cheap, about 210 pounds, or sorry, 110 pounds. Um, I paid 110 for one, 120 for the other. Um, and that opens it up to potentially modding them. I think people buy them and realize they need much bigger um, racks and uh, then sell them off. Uh, so essentially what I've done is cut through here, put a row of 3U, I believe this is 80 HP wide, and then added two HP modules down here. So this is obviously Steppy. Uh, after later audio's um, version of Peaks with uh, Dead Man's Catch firmware, the DVCA. Um, here, of course, uh, you have considerable gain. Um, Dead saturation to anything. Um, the uh, I think it's Apathy Sloth, so the um, second slowest uh, to cab low pass gate. Um, this is the LPZW, I believe. Um, W2K, which basically is an attenuverter and slew. So this is two attenuation, attenuverter, so offset, and then offset, and then uh, slew. And then this is nearness, of course, which acts as a kind of mixer. And then down here, you can see I have cockpit, which is a stereo mixer, dual mono here, and stereo here, uh, the endorphins, Milky Way the IntelliGel Duat, and then Dazzle. So this is interesting, of course, because it's made for pulp logic. What I've done is I've cut it down here and here to fit. Now the PCB is bigger, but because I'm cutting into this anyway, I can make that little section a little bit wider. I'll show you that in a moment. Um, I like this. This is Mutable Instruments Blinds, um, so it has the offset um, for attenuation. This is 2HP Kick, Snare, and Hi-Hats. No, that's not all. Um, I've also added these modules in the back. So you can see these are the 0HP by ST Modular, um, little attenuators. These are switches, so from here to here to here to here. Um, another switch, this is that passive um, saturation, basically clipping, uh, diode clipping, and this is a um, wave adder, a gate adder, USB, and a buffered malt, and another attenuator. Now these USBs are useful, of course, because if you add the uh, value, so 900 here, and an additional 400 here, or 500 here, you get to the milliamps required to run the Arturia key step 37, and it works fine. <clears throat> then there's the FSR, a low pass gate, and another USB. Here's the MIDI for the um, Expert Sleepers Distinct EX. And then, of course, I put the power modules on the back um, to add an additional 10 HP to the front. I'll show you how I add that up in a second. <clears throat> but again, um, you can run this. Uh, actually with one of those um, uh, 5 volt um, but just to add a little bit more I've um, combined the 5 volts across um, just to make sure that it runs fine and of course it does without any latency or anything it runs perfectly smooth And so, <clears throat> what are the pros and cons of doing this? Of course, I think, um, so the way I've calculated is this is 80 HP down here. Um, and so I consider um, basically the equivalent here of HP. So you divide 80 by four. So you're adding roughly 20 HP here and 20 HP here. And then six here, six here, because these are two HP modules and the additional ones on the back, um, the malt USB 3 <clears throat> at the gate adder, um, the uh, three attenuators, 
um, and passive distortion that equals about 5 HP. Um, and then the FSR low pass gate USB and MIDI is another 6 HP. So all told that's 73 HP that's added. So when you start with 168, <clears throat> um, removing the power, cutting into your um, at the size of the aluminum here, and I'll show you how I did that in a moment. Um, you can add about 73 HP. Now, of course, uh, you know, what are the benefits of this? Well, in one sense, you get, uh, you know, especially compared to, say, an IntelliGel performance case, um, which is obviously much nicer uh, than this Frankenstein's monster that I've created. Um, but you do get more milliamps by 200. Um, you get significantly more uh, 5 volt uh, by 300 uh, milliamps more. Of course, IntelliGel is much more versatile in switching out modules. While these aren't permanent, they're considerably harder to remove. Um, you know, uh, it's harder to switch out these modules, um, but they're mostly utilities, and I don't see why I would really need to. Um, IntelliGel is much more accessible because all modules are uh, on the same plane, but the rack boot has better angles, right? So I can move this down easily, just you know, complete that. You can tighten these up so that it doesn't, uh, only comes down a little bit. Um, this angle is not great, um, but it's fine if I'm sitting here, I can just type in my gates here. Um, this requires some visibility that I wish I had more of. Um, so yeah, you also have 12 more slots um, with the Rackbrut 3U as opposed to the IntelliGel Performance case, the 104 one. Um, the rack boot mod is obviously a lot cheaper, um, so I picked this up for 230 pounds for the two, um, but used the performance cases closer to 500. Um, of course, it requires tools, patience, and time. Um, the one PSU for IntelliGel, as opposed to having two, which I was required here, um, is a benefit. Uh, they're roughly equal HP, though. If you, again, do that calculation of one quarter for the one U rack, uh, the one U row for the IntelliGel, um, I can use, of course, pulp logic modules, as I've shown here. Um, and you can't do that on IntelliGel because the PSC, or the um, PCB is too big. Um, you know, uh, as I'll show you in a moment, the bag um, is really convenient, although, of course, the IntelliGel comes with a lid. This bag is incredible. Um, you can't buy it anymore, so I got this one used. It's basically brand new. Um, and the reason I got it is because I looked at the measurements, the dimensions, and realized with the 3U, I could also put in an Arturia Keystep 37. So, let's take a look at that. Put this up. I'm pretty sure Arturia def def designed it that way, but it doesn't say anything on their site about it. So, I have my two 3U racks sticking up like that and the design is not just for 6U that's a misconception it's for 3U there's a a sort of V piece of wood here um, that stops it at the top with these things here so whether it's 3U or 6U it doesn't go deeper than this yeah uh, on both sides so um, of course the 6U would just have longer um, the body would be have a, a greater width and it would go down to the bottom but it would still stop it here with these these get wedged in here with this this piece of wood on the side now if I pull this out oh, you can see that I have the key step 37 in there yeah and then all my cables and my headphones in the bottom here and they're not getting squished nothing is right because again it's being um, um, limited and how far it can go down with uh, the width of these. Uh, so brilliant design. Oh, I should also add, I added these feet, um, which are great. So you can stand it up without um, hitting these knobs. So basically, you know, down here. And then when you pull it off, like this stands up perfectly. Um, the one catch with that, of course. Is that uh, you have to use angled um, wires because a full one will exceed this if you're going to put it putting it down when you have everything plugged in but that's fine it seems to be the way people are going anyway um, other than that yeah 
uh, interested in your comments and keep watching for uh, some videos of how I did it. So you can see here it's a bit wider because I'm using a pulp logic module that I'm going to put in there. And then uh, there's the two HPs, so six of them. And then you get out here. These can be flipped. So normally this would have been the other side um, and the uh, power would have been here. Power would have been here, right? Because these are mirror images of each other. Um, but you can flip them around to make the power on whatever side you want. Um, they match up perfectly and you can see there's plenty of room because most of these modules they'll stop right there right underneath the lip so most modules even deep ones will fit in there still with the exception of this area here where you have the power and then of course I have this mixer which has uh, a compressor in it as well and that unfortunately does hang down pretty low but the um, a few of my modules are pretty shallow and they'll fit in there just fine so it's no big deal